brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Real Madrid CF Real Madrid Club de Football, commonly known as Real Madrid, or simply as Real, is a professional football club based in Madrid, Spain. Founded in 1902 as Madrid Football Club, the club has traditionally worn a white home kit since inception. The word real is Spanish. Royal and was bestowed to the club by King Alfonso XIII in 1920 together with the royal crown in the emblem. The team has played its home matches in the 81,044 capacity Santiago Bernabeu Stadium in downtown Madrid since 1947. Unlike most European sporting entities, Real Madrid's members have owned and operated the club throughout its history. The club was estimated to be worth €3.24 Euros billion in 2015, and in the 2014-15 season it was the world's highest-earning football club, with an annual revenue of €577 million. Euros. The club is one of the most widely supported teams in the world. Real Madrid is one of three founding members of the Primera division that have never been relegated from the top division, along with Athletic Bilbao in Barcelona. The club holds many long-standing rivalries, most notably El Clásico with Barcelona and El Derby. With Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid established itself as a major force in both Spanish and European football during the 1950s, winning five consecutive European Cups and reaching the final seven times. This success was replicated in the league, where the club won five times in the space of seven years. This team, which consisted of players such as Alfredo Di Stefano, Ferenc Puskas, Francisco Hento, and Raymond Copa, is considered by some in the sport to be the greatest team of all time. In domestic football, the club has won 63 major trophies, a record and 33 La Liga titles, 19 Copa del Rey, 9 Supercopa de España, a Copa Riva du Arte, and a Copa de la Liga. In European and worldwide competitions, the club has won a record 22 major trophies, a record 12 European Cup, UEFA Champions League titles, two UEFA Cups and three UEFA Super Cups. Whilst in international football, they are the only Spanish club to have won both international titles, a joint record three Intercontinental Cups and two FIFA Club World Cups. Real Madrid were recognized as the FIFA club of the 20th century on the 11th of December 2000 and received the FIFA Centennial Order of Merit on 20 May 2004. The club was also awarded Best European Club of the 20th Century by the IFFHS on the 11th of May 2010. In June 2017 the team succeeded in becoming the first club to win back-to-back -back Champions Leagues, extending the lead atop the UEFA club rankings. Early years, 1902-1945 Real Madrid's origins go back to when football was introduced to Madrid by the academics and students of the Institución Libre de Ronsonanza, which included several Cambridge and Oxford University graduates. They founded Football Club Sky in 1897 playing on Sunday mornings at Moncla. It split into two clubs in 1900, New Football de Madrid and Madrid Football Club. On 6 March 1902, after a new board presided by Juan Padros had been elected, Madrid Football Club was officially founded three years after its foundation, in 1905. Madrid FC won its first title after defeating Athletic Bilbao in the Spanish Cup final. The club became one of the founding sides of the Royal Spanish Football Federation on 4 January 1909, when club president Adolfo Melende signed the foundation agreement of the Spanish FA. 
After moving between grounds the team moved to the Campo de O'Donnell in 1912. In 1920, the club's name was changed to Real Madrid after King Alfonso XIII granted the title of Real to the club. In 1929, the first Spanish Football League was founded. Real Madrid led the first league season until the last match, a loss to Athletic Bilbao. Meant they finished runners-up to Barcelona. Real Madrid won its first league title in the 1931-32 season. Real won the league again the following year, becoming the first team to have won the championship twice. On 14 April 1931, the arrival of the Second Spanish Republic caused the club to lose the title real and went back to being named Madrid Football Club. Football continued during the Second World War, and on 13 June 1943 Madrid beat Barcelona 11-1 in the second leg of a semi-final of the Copa del Generalísimo, the Copa del Rey having been renamed in honor of General Franco. It has been suggested that Barcelona players were intimidated by police, including by the director of state security who allegedly told the team that some of them were only playing because of the regime's generosity in permitting them to remain in the country. The Barcelona chairman, Enrich Pinero, was assaulted by Madrid fans. However, none of these allegations have been proven and FIFA and UEFA still consider the result as legitimate, according to Spanish journalist and writer Juan Carlos Pasamontes. Barcelona player Josep Val denied that the Spanish security forces came before the match. Instead, at the end of the first half, Barcelona coach Juan José Nogues and all of his players were angry with the hard style of play Real Madrid was using and with the aggressiveness of the home crowd when they refused to take the field. The superior chief of police of Madrid appeared, identified himself, and ordered the team to take the field. Santiago Bernabéu yesterday and European success 1945-1978 Santiago Bernabéu yesterday became president of Real Madrid in 1945. Under his presidency, the club, its stadium Santiago Bernabéu, and its training facilities Ciudad Deportiva were rebuilt after the Spanish Civil War damages. Additionally, during the 1950s former Real Madrid amateurs player Miguel Malbo founded Real Madrid's Youth Academy, or Cantera, known today as La Fabrica, beginning in 1953. He embarked upon a strategy of signing world-class players from abroad, the most prominent being Alfredo Di Stefano. In 1955, acting upon the idea proposed by the French sports journalist and editor of L'Equipe P. Gabriel Hanot, Bernabeu, Bedrinian, and Gustave Siebes created an exhibition tournament of invited teams from around Europe that would eventually become what today is known as the UEFA Champions League. It was under Bernabéu's guidance that Real Madrid established itself as a major force in both Spanish and European football. The club won the European Cup five times in a row between 1956 and 1960, which included the 7-3 Hampton Park final against Eintracht Frankfurt in 1960. After these five consecutive successes, Real was permanently awarded the original cup and earning the right to wear the UEFA badge of honor. The club won the European Cup for a sixth time in 1966, defeating partisan Belgrade 2-1 in the final with a team composed entirely of same-nationality players, a first in the competition. This team became known as the Yeah Yeah. The name, Yeah Yeah, came from the Yeah 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 chorus in the Beatles song, She Loves You, after four members of the team posed for Marker and impersonated the Beatles.
The EA generation was also European Cup runner-up in 1962 and 1964. In the 1970s, Real Madrid won five league championships and three Spanish Cups. The club played its first UEFA Cup Winners' Cup final in 1971 and lost to English side Chelsea 2-1. On 2 July 1978, club president Santiago Bernabéu died while the World Cup was being played in Argentina. FIFA decreed three days of mourning to honor him during the tournament. The following year, the club organized the first edition of the Trofeo Santiago Bernabéu in the memory of its former president, Quinta del Buita and 7th European Cup 198AU 2000. By the early 1980s, Real Madrid had lost its grasp on the Liga title until a new cohort of homegrown stars brought domestic success back to the club. Spanish sport journalist Julio C. Acute Sar Iglesias gave to this generation the name La Quinta del Buita, which was derived from the nickname given to one of its members, Emilio Butragueno. The other four members were Manuel Sanchez, Martin Vasquez, Michel and Miguel Pardeza. All five footballers were graduates of Real Madrid's youth academy, with La Quinta del Buta, and notable players like goalkeeper Francisco Bayo, right-back Miguel Paul Anchendo, and Mexican striker Hugo Sanchez, Real Madrid had one of the best teams in Spain and Europe. During the second half of the 1980s, winning two UEFA Cups, five Spanish championships in a row, one Spanish Cup and three Spanish Super Cups. In the early 1990s, La Quinta del Buta split up after Martin Vazquez, Emilio Butragano and Michel left the club. In 1996, President Lorenzo Sanz appointed Fabio Capello as coach. Although his tenure lasted only one season, Real Madrid was proclaimed league champion and players like Roberto Carlos, Predrag Mijatovic, Davor Suka and Clarence Seydorf arrived at the club to strengthen a squad that already boasted the likes of Raul, Fernando Hierro, Ivan Zamorano, and Fernando Redondo. As a result, Real Madrid finally ended its 32-year wait for its seventh European Cup, in 1998, under manager Jupp Hankies. They defeated Juventus 1-0 in the final with a goal from Predrag Mijatovic. Centenary and FIFA Club of the Century, 2000 present. In July 2000, Florentino Perez was elected club president. He vowed in his campaign to erase the club's 270 million euros debt and modernize the club's facilities. However, the primary electoral promise that propelled Perez to victory was the signing of Luis Figo. For March rivals Barcelona, the following year the club had its training ground rezoned and used the money to begin assembling the Galacticos team by signing a global star every summer which included Zinedine Zidane, Ronaldo, Luis Figo, Roberto Carlos, Raul, David Beckham, and Fabio Cannavaro. It is debatable whether the gamble paid off, as despite winning the UEFA Champions League and an Intercontinental Cup in 2002, followed by La Liga in 2003, the club failed to win a major trophy for the next three seasons. The few days after the capturing of the 2003 Liga title were surrounded with controversy. The first controversial decision came when Perez sacked winning coach Vicente del Bosquet. Over a dozen players left the club, including Madrid captain Fernando Hierro, while defensive midfielder Claude Makelele refused to take part in training in protest at being one of the lowest-paid players at the club and subsequently moved to Chelsea. 
That's a lot of players leaving, when the normal rule is, never change a winning team. Stated Zidane, Real Madrid, with newly appointed coach Carlos Queiroz, started their domestic league slowly after a hard win over Real Betis. The 2005-06 season began with the promise of several new signings, Giulio Baptista, Robinho and Sergio Ramos. However, Real Madrid suffered from some poor results, including a 3 loss at the hands of Barcelona. At the Santiago Bernabeu in November 2005, Madrid's coach Wanderly Luxembourgo was sacked the following month, and his replacement was Juan Ramon López Caro. A brief return to form came to an abrupt halt after losing the first leg of the Copa del Rey quarter-final, 6-1, to Real Zaragoza. Shortly after, Real Madrid were eliminated from the Champions League for a fourth successive year, this time at the hands of Arsenal. On 27 February 2006, Florentino Perez resigned. Ramon Calderon was elected as club president on 2 July 2006, and subsequently appointed Fabio Capello as the new coach, and Predrag Mijadovic as the new sporting director. Real Madrid won the Liga title in 2007. For the first time in four years, but Capello was nonetheless sacked at the end of the campaign. On the 9th of June 2007, Real played against Zaragoza at La Romareda. Zaragoza led Real 2-1 near the end of the match while Barcelona were also winning against Espanyol. 2-1. A late Ruud van Nistelrooy equaliser followed. By a last-minute Raúl Tamudo goal sprang Real Madrid's title hopes back into their favor. The title was won on 17 June, where Real faced Mallorca at the Bernabeu while Barcelona and Sevilla, the other title challengers, faced Gymnastic de Tarragona and Villarreal, respectively. At halftime, Real were 0-1 down while Barcelona had surged ahead into a 0-3 lead in Tarragona, however, three goals in the last half-hour secured Madrid a 3-1 win in their first league title. Since 2003, the first goal came from José Antonio Reyes, who scored after a good work from Gonzalo Higuaín. An own goal followed by another goal from Reyes allowed Real to begin celebrating the title. Thousands of Real Madrid fans began going to Plaza de Cibeles to celebrate the title. Second Perez term, an arrival of Cristiano Ronaldo 2009-2013 on 1 June 2009, Florentino Perez regained Real Madrid's presidency. Perez continued with the Galacticos policy pursued in his first term, buying Kaká from Milan for a record-breaking sum of £56 million, and then breaking the record again by purchasing Cristiano Ronaldo from Manchester United for £80 million. Jose Mourinho took over as manager in May 2010. In April 2011, a strange occurrence happened when, for the first time ever, four Clásicos were to be played in a span of just 18 days. The first fixture was for the Liga campaign on 17 April, the Copa del Rey final, and the controversial two-leg Champions League semi-final on 27 April and 2 May to Barcelona. In the 2011-12 La Liga season, Real Madrid won La Liga for a record 32nd time in the league's history, also finishing the season with numerous club-level records set, including 100 points reached in a single season, a total of 121 goals scored, a goal difference of plus 8-9 and 16 away wins, with 32 wins overall. In the same season, Cristiano Ronaldo became the fastest player to reach 100 goals scored in Spanish league history.
in reaching 101 goals in 92 games. Ronaldo surpassed Real Madrid legend Ferenc Puskas, who scored 100 goals in 105 games. Ronaldo set a new club mark for individual goals scored in one year, and became the first player ever to score against all 19 opposition teams in a single season. Real Madrid began the 2012-13 season winning the Supercopa de España, defeating Barcelona on away goals, but finished as second in the league competition. A major transfer of the season was signing from Tottenham Hotspur of Luka Modric for a fee in the region of £33 million. In the Champions League, they were drawn in the Group of Death, alongside Borussia Dortmund, Manchester City and Ajax, finishing second, with three points behind Dortmund. In the round of 16, they defeated Manchester United, Galatasaray in the quarter-finals, and reached their third straight semi-final finish in the Champions League, when they were again stopped by Dortmund, after a disappointing extra-time loss to Atletico Madrid in the 2013 Copa del Rey final, Perez announced the departure of Jose Mourinho at the end of the season by mutual agreement. Ancelotti in La Decima 2013-2015 on 25 June 2013, Carlo Ancelotti succeeded Mourinho to become the manager of Real Madrid on a three-year deal. A day later, he was introduced at his first press conference for Madrid where it was announced that both Zinedine Zidane and Paul Clement will be his assistants. On 1 September 2013, the long-awaited transfer from Tottenham of Gareth Bale was announced. The transfer of the Welshman was reportedly the new world record signing, with the transfer price approximated at 100 million euros. In Ancelotti's first season at the club, Real Madrid won the Copa del Rey, with Bale scoring the winner in the final against Barcelona. On 24 May, Real Madrid defeated City rivals Atletico Madrid in the 2014 Champions League final, winning their first European title since 2002, and becoming the first team to win 10 European Cups, Champions League titles, an achievement known as La Decima. After winning the 2014 Champions League, Real Madrid signed goalkeeper Keylor Navas midfielder Tony Cross and attacking midfielder James Rodriguez. The club won the 2014 UEFA Super Cup against Sevilla, with two goals by Cristiano Ronaldo, the club's 79th official trophy. During the last week of the 2014 summer transfer window, Real Madrid sold two players key in the previous season's successes, Xabi Alonso to Bayern Munich, and Angel Di Maria to Manchester United, the latter for an English record fee of €75 million. Euros. This decision from the club was surrounded by controversy, with Cristiano Ronaldo stating, If I was in charge, maybe I would have done things differently, while Carlo Ancelotti admitted, We must start again from zero. After a slow start to the 2014-15 La Liga season, which included defeats to Atletico Madrid and Real Sociedad. Real Madrid went on a record-breaking winning streak, which included wins against Barcelona and Liverpool, surpassing the previous Spanish record of 18 successive wins set by Frank Ricciardi's Barca in the 2005-06 season. In December 2014, the club extended the winning streak to 22 games with a 2-0 win over San Lorenzo in the 2014 FIFA Club World Cup final, thus ending the calendar year with four trophies. Their 22-game winning streak ended in their opening game of 2015 with a loss to Valencia, leaving the club too short of equaling the world record of 24 consecutive wins.
The club failed to retain the Champions League, the Copa del Rey, and failed to land the league title, shortcomings that all preceded Ancelotti's sacking on 25 May 2015. Zidane arrival, Laurent de Chima and Le Duo de Camar 2015 present. On 3 June 2015, Rafael Benitez was confirmed as the new Real Madrid manager, signing a three-year contract. Real Madrid remained unbeaten in the league until a 3-2 loss at Sevilla in the 11th match day. This was followed by a 4 home loss in the first Clásico of the season against Barcelona. Real played Cadiz in the Copa del Rey round of 32, winning away 1-3 in the first leg. However, they fielded an ineligible player in Denis Cherry Chef as he was suspended for that match, resulting in the second leg being cancelled and Real being disqualified. Meanwhile, Real topped their UEFA Champions League group with 16 points. Benitez was sacked on 4 January 2016, following allegations of unpopularity with supporters, displeasure with players and a failure to get good results against top sides. At the time of sacking, Real were third in La Liga, four points behind leaders Atletico Madrid, and two points behind arch-rivals Barcelona. On 4 January 2016, Benitez's departure was announced along with the promotion of Zinedine Zidane to his first head coaching role. Zidane previously worked as assistant to Benitez's predecessor Carlo Ancelotti and, since 2014, had occupied the helm of reserve team Real Madrid Castilla. Zidane's coaching debut for Madrid was marked by a 5-0 home victory over Deportivo in La Liga on 9 January 2016, with Gareth Bale scoring a hat-trick. Under Zidane, Real ended up finishing in second place, just one point behind champions Barcelona in the 2015-16 La Liga. On 28 May, Real Madrid won their 11th Champions League title, extending the record for most successes in the competition, with Cristiano Ronaldo scoring the decisive penalty in a shootout win over Atletico Madrid in the final, with the achievement being termed La Ronde Chima. Real began the 2016-17 campaign, which was to be Zidane's first full season in charge of Real Madrid, with a 3-2 win over Sevilla, to claim the 2016 UEFA Super Cup, courtesy of a winner in the penultimate minute of added extra time from Danny Carvajal. On 10 December 2016, Madrid won 3-2 against Deportivo de La Coruna, which was their 35th straight match without a loss, which set a new club record. On 18 December 2016, Madrid defeated Japanese club Kashima Antlers 4-2 in the final of the 2016 FIFA Club World Cup, with Cristiano Ronaldo scoring a hat-trick, with a 3-3 draw at Sevilla on 12 January 2017. Madrid's unbeaten run extended to 40, breaking FC Barcelona's Spanish record of 39 games unbeaten in all competitions. From the previous season, their unbeaten streak ended, following a 1-2 away loss against Sevilla in La Liga three days later. In May that year, Madrid won the 2016-17 La Liga for a record 33rd time, their first in five years. Coming in as defending champions, Real Madrid played most of their knockout games of the 2016-17 Champions League in the absence of Gareth Bale due to injury, employing a 4-4-2 diamond formation, with Isco playing a free-roaming role as the main central attacking midfielder. They beat Napoli 6-2 on aggregate in the round of 16, followed by a 6-3 aggregate win over Bayern in the quarterfinals, and a 4-2 aggregate win over Atletico Madrid in the semi-finals.
The victory in the Champions League final against Juventus resulted in Real Madrid being the first team to successfully defend their title in the Champions League era, and the first to win consecutive titles in the competition since AC Milan in 1989 and 1990, when the tournament was known as the European Cup. Real Madrid's title was its 12th, extending its record, and its third in four years. The achievement is also known as La Duodicama. The 2016-17 season was the greatest campaign in terms of trophies won in the history of Real. Madrid, as the club, attained four titles, a feat previously never achieved by Real. Emblem The first crest had a simple design consisting of a decorative interlacing of the three initials of the club MCF for Madrid Club de Football in dark blue on a white shirt. The first change in the crest occurred in 1908 when the letters adopted a more streamlined form and appeared inside a circle. The next change in the configuration of the crest did not occur until the presidency of Pedro Parages in 1920. At that time, King Alfonso XIII granted the club his royal patronage which came in the form of the title Real Madrid, meaning royal. Thus, Alfonso's crown was added to the crest, and the club styled itself Real Madrid Club de Football. With the dissolution of the monarchy in 1931, all the royal symbols were eliminated. The crown was replaced by the dark mulberry band of the region of Castile. In 1941, two years after the end of the Civil War, the crest's real corona, or royal crown, was restored while the mulberry stripe of Castile was retained as well. In addition, the whole crest was made full color, with gold being the most prominent, and the club was again called Real Madrid Club de Football. The most recent modification to the crest occurred in 2001 when the club wanted to better situate itself for the 21st century and further standardize its crest. One of the modifications made was changing the mulberry stripe to a more bluish shade. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.